الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم ما بعد حبت في الله knowing and loving the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een is not just from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but it's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us with and so when we talk about the Sahaba and we talk about the fitna that came between the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een that we should always keep in mind the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who said Salawatu Rabbi wa Salamu Alayhi Ida Dhukira Ashabi Famsuku that if my sahaba, my companions, Radiallahu Ta'ala Anu Majmain are mentioned, then keep silent. Waqala Sufyan ibn Ayana Rahimullah Ta'ala Mannataka Mannataka Fi Ashab Fi Ashab Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Bi Kalimatin Fuhu Sahib Hawa Fuhu Sahib Hawa Sufyan Ibn Ayyina Rahimullah Ta'ala Mention That whoever speaks ill of the Sahaba with even a word then they are the person of desires and bid'ah why is this Sahaba to Fillah? because when we talk about the Madhab of the Salaf we're talking about the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiyallahu Ta'ala Anam Ajma'een we're talking about the Quran and the Sunnah being the, the Mastar and the understanding of the companions Radiyallahu Ta'ala Anam Ajma'een be in the path of understanding the Quran and the Sunnah because they were there during revelation and then we're talking about not only the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala majma'een but the tabi'een with, with ba'a tabi'een meaning the first two generations because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said khayran nas qarni thumma alladheena yalunuhum thumma alladheena yalunuhum the best people is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. So this is why we love the companions, radiyallahu ta'ala anu majma'een. We only speak good of them, and when we give examples, give only the good examples. And avoid ijtanab, fitna to sahaba, fitna to sahaba to rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi وسلم, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from the people who curse the Sahaba and who attack the Sahaba and who detest the Sahaba and who bring doubt about the Sahaba. Radiallahu ta'ala anu majma'een. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.